right, let's get this coming started. Horsepower, baby. Uh, horsepower. All right, let's get to work. Welcome back guys to another awesome episode on the channel and in today's video we're going to talk about diesel runaway. It's kind of a scary situation. Sometimes people feel helpless or hopeless when it happens. Most people will run away from it. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to explain how a diesel engine runs away and how to stop it and maybe even some preventive things to check before this ever even happens. <laughs> Now as always, before we get started, do me a favor, hit the like button. It's really gonna support the channel and it's gonna get this information out to everybody. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. A diesel owner's nightmare, runaway diesel. It's exactly how it sounds. A diesel engine that just won't stop, causing many problems such as damage or injury or even worse. So I hope this video will help educate someone who is in the market for a diesel currently or has a diesel powered vehicle. My overall intention is to help those who may come across this rare but possible occurrence. I know it's hard to hear this, but you can always replace your vehicle or your equipment. Don't jeopardize your safety. A runaway diesel used to be a relatively common occurrence, but now as things have changed, it's a rare situation in modern diesels as electronic controlled modules or ECUs can meter the fuel more accurately and sensors warn the ECU and allow it to prevent things like this from happening. But there's also exceptions to everything as parts do fail. Now what causes a runaway diesel condition? We're gonna talk about that and I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it a little bit deeper. But it plays into many factors such as pumps that stick and meter too much fuel, also oil seal failure in turbocharged engines, overfueling the crankcase, broken or damaged internal fuel pipes, incorrectly assembled or faulty fuel linkages, also dual fuel engines that use bottled like gases like propane, and also environments that are saturated with airborne vapors. Another way the engine can run uncontrollably is caused by wear and neglect. As piston rings wear, they allow a small amount of oil into the combustion chamber, and that goes with most internal combustion engines, but if the wear gets to the right level and the diesel engine gets hot enough, it starts to vaporize the oil into the crankcase, it leaks past the piston rings, and once in the cylinder and the combustion chamber, these vaporized oils act like diesel fuel and ignites under the extreme compression. So once this happens, the engine will go until the oil has been completely exhausted and or if the engine blows up, whichever comes first. So what are the actual causes? So in a diesel engine, the torque and rotational speed are controlled by the means of quality torque manipulation. So this means that with each intake stroke, the engine draws in air which is not mixed with fuel. Oil burners create combustion by fuel and air only. They don't have spark plugs in these engines. So that's what it's basically doing is it's eating itself. So if there's any sort of leak in the turbocharger, the combination of unburnt fuel and engine oil can also lead to a runaway condition if blow-by is excessive enough for that mixture to reach the combustion chamber. And with turbo diesels, oil can sometimes cause the engine to run away. But how is this possible? It's all about fuel. Most turbochargers internals are lubricated by engine oil, which can lead to runaway conditions if or when it breaches turbo seals. Like blow-by, the lubricants enters the combustion chamber and promotes an RPM increase. So basically your engine oil is now a fuel source and the result is usually dramatic and expensive. So let's talk really quickly about stopping an engine runaway. Usually after defining runaway, how do you stop it? Most people's first reaction of course is to turn the engine off by turning the key back and it's very understandable. It's a knee-jerk reaction and doing this usually won't work. Unlike gas engines, ignition for a diesel is not the same as a gasser. A runaway oil burner has to be denied fuel completely and immediately or choked to death. But here's the deal, when you turn the engine off, it's not actually cutting the fuel off because the oil is getting past the seals through the turbocharger and the truck will continue to eat itself up with your engine oil because that engine oil is essentially fuel at that point. So there's a lot of things to think about here. Of course, if you turn the truck off, it's gonna to continue to stay running and it's gonna be running at a very high RPM. Your adrenaline's gonna be pumping. You're gonna do anything and everything to turn this truck off or just get out and run because at that point, you don't wanna get yourself hurt. Now, of course, if it's the diesel fuel that's making the truck run away, you're gonna to wanna to cut the diesel fuel off somehow. Maybe by pinching the fuel line, maybe ripping it off. But of course, that's gonna be extremely dangerous because you don't want diesel fuel shooting everywhere and that catching on fire. You're gonna have even bigger problems. But of course, that's a quick and easy way 
way to shut the engine off by cutting its diesel fuel supply. But let's just assume that the truck is eating its own oil and it won't stop. So let's just say that this is your turbo. This is just a housing from, uh, I think it's an S475 or something like that. And you have a cap, something like that, or maybe a clipboard or something. Don't put your hand there. But take something and block this off. For example, I got a turbo cover. I got this from Ryan. But basically, you just plug it up. The engine's going to need air to continue running. So if you cut off that air supply, that's going to stop your engine. It's going to be pretty scary, though. I've never seen an engine run away in person, but if that was the case, that's probably what I would end up doing. Just ripping that intake tube completely off the turbo and finding something nice and flat to butt against that turbo to stop the air. But you're going to have to choke it completely. Now, if you guys want a backwards plan, you can install a electronic air shutoff to the turbo itself. Itself, that will shut it off completely. It'll be very safe. It's just a quick switch. But let's be honest here. How many people are actually going to do that? What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments what you would do if your diesel engine ran away. I'd love to read them. Maybe some good tips that we can all learn from. Another option, if you have a manual transmission, it's sometimes possible to stop the engine by engaging it into a higher gear like fourth, fifth, or sixth, etc. After that, go ahead and put your foot on the brake and let off the clutch to slow the engine RPM and it should stop the truck from moving. But this should be your last result because this can cause catastrophic damage to the whole transmission, mainly the gearbox, but this operation can also save the engine. Some of the most common diesels that run away are gonna be some of your old diesel engines. For example, the mechanical P-pump truck that I have right behind me. In rare occasions, the newer diesel engines are not gonna do this. I mean, it's very possible, but it's a common rail system. It's gonna be fueled by your diesel injection pump and it's all through your engine control module so basically when you turn that key off it's going to cut the fuel supply to the injection pump so it'll turn the truck off unless of course it's eating its own oil like we talked about i would say your biggest key from your diesel engine ever running away is regular maintenance another good maintenance tip is every once in a while pop off your air intake and just check out the turbine check out your compressor wheel itself and make sure it's not all gunked up with engine oil it's also not a bad idea to have that turbo rebuilt or just put a brand new turbo in there if you have a ton of miles on that thing it's just a good insurance it's a good peace of mind knowing that you have brand new seals in that turbo but in this case it's very uncommon for a diesel engine to ever run away i don't think you're ever going to have that problem but of course this is a very good heads up to some of you guys that own these diesel engines and you want to keep an eye on things i think that's a very good thing to do is to check your turbo but to sum all this up a runaway can be a very scary situation but if you are experienced, you can avoid damage and injury by getting it shut down. It's not worth getting seriously injured over a piece of equipment. Of course, make sure everybody's out of the vehicle. This isn't a very huge topic. Like I said, it's a very uncommon situation. For example, the Duramax that I showed you guys, it was hooked up to that sled. Thank God it was hooked up to a sled because if it wasn't, can you imagine what would have happened? Especially if the driver of that vehicle freaked out behind the wheel. It could have went into a tree. It could have been even worse. It could have caused death. I'm sure we're very thankful that that person made it out of that situation alive, but it could have been really, really bad. But like I said, guys, let me know in the comments what you would do in that situation. And of course, some other things that you guys can do to stop this situation from ever happening. For example, like I said, check the turbo, maybe buy a air cutoff switch that may help, or even a fuel shutoff switch to shut the fuel off from going directly to the engine. If you guys enjoyed the content, definitely hit the subscribe button. And as always, hit that notification bell so you guys can get alerted every time I post a video. Also, if you guys want to support the channel i left a link in the description truckmasterdiesel.com we have some really awesome hoodies hats t-shirts key tags diesel parts and some other really cool upgrades to help better your truck but that's it we'll see you on the next one stay tuned